All right, so something big just dropped in robotics. Unitree, the Chinese company known for its G1 humanoid and those fast AI robot dogs, just launched a full-size humanoid robot called the R1. And it comes in at just 5,900 bucks, which is unheard of for a humanoid. Not five figures, not research-only access. This thing is actually available for regular people. You can just go online and order it. That's a massive deal, so let's talk about it. Now let's start with what this robot actually does. The R1 isn't some flimsy demo bot that barely moves unless it's plugged into a lab wall. It walks, runs, balances, does cartwheels, flips onto its hands, and even throws in a kung fu kick if you ask nicely. And no, it's not controlled with complex scripts or hard coding. It uses real-time AI-powered voice recognition, has built-in cameras for visual input, and can hold basic conversations. There's even a remote control, so if it starts acting weird or a little too confident, you can shut it down instantly. And it's not small either. The R1 stands at 165 centimeters tall, about five foot five, and weighs 25 kilograms, or 55 pounds, so yeah, roughly the size of a teenager, but don't let that fool you, this isn't some lightweight toy. It's built with serious industrial grade components, and it shows. Every part of it, from the actuators to the outer frame, is designed for strength, precision, and flexibility. It moves with balance and control, whether it's walking over uneven terrain, flipping mid-air, or popping back up after a fall. That kind of mobility comes from having 26 degrees of freedom, basically 26 fully functional joints distributed across its body. You've got movement in the ankles, knees, hips, waist, shoulders, elbows, wrists, neck, all individually controllable, which gives the robot a full range of motion that's eerily human. This is what allows it to pull off fluid movements instead of clunky, rigid motions you usually see in budget bots. In Unitree's own demos, the R1 is shown doing handstands, cartwheels, fast directional changes, and recovering from falls without external help. And these aren't pre-scripted animations. It's doing this dynamically with real-time motor feedback and balance control. That level of agility comes down to custom direct drive actuators developed in-house by Unitree, which allow for fast, accurate torque control without wasting energy or overheating. Powering all this is a lithium battery that gives you about one hour of runtime per charge. It's not ideal if you're expecting eight hour workdays out of your humanoid, but for this price range, that's a fair trade-off. It also charges pretty quickly, so it's not like you'll be stuck waiting around half a day to use it again. Still, there's no built-in system for autonomous battery swapping, something that UB Tech's Walker S2 can actually do. So you'll need to manually plug it in or have a spare battery ready to go. But let's be real, the tech for hot swapping batteries and extended run times already exists. The only reason it's not in here is because they're keeping it affordable. They've clearly made the decision to strip out some of the convenience features in favor of core functionality, which for early adopters is the smarter call. And honestly, it's just a matter of time before we see those upgrades trickle into future versions or even as modular add-ons. The foundation is already here. And here's where things get especially interesting. The R1 isn't locked down. It comes with a fully open software development kit, meaning developers can dig into the system and build on top of it. You want to train it to recognize objects, build a new gesture system, turn it into a walking assistant, lab guide, or classroom tutor? You can. You've got access to the robot's motion controls, sensors, camera feeds, and voice modules. You can use Python, C++, or even plug into robot operating system if you're building something more advanced. That's a huge deal because most robots in this price bracket are walled gardens. Either they're pre-programmed with limited functionality or you have to reverse engineer your way in. With the R1, Unitree is handing you the keys from day one. So what you're getting here isn't just a demo unit to watch dance for five minutes. You're getting a working, customizable humanoid platform with real world potential. Now let's talk about the price again because that's where Unitree really flipped the table. Their older humanoid, the G1, launched last year for $16,000. Their big industrial model, the H1, lists at over 90,000. And yet here comes the R1 running on similar tech stacks, doing flips and voice commands for under 6,000. For comparison, Tesla's Optimus isn't even out yet, but Elon is aiming for under 20,000 once production scales. The price of Optimus, I mean, ultimately, I think 
Optimus is probably like $20,000 20, $20, or something like that, maybe 30. Aptronics Apollo, Boston Dynamics Atlas, Agility Robotics, Digit, Figure Zero Two, they're all sitting way higher. Atlas is around 100,000 digit, costs up to 250,000 depending on the client. Even cheaper open source options like Hope Jr. are more community projects than real products. So yeah, R1 is completely changing the pricing conversation, and you better believe that's putting pressure on every American and European robot company still figuring out how to make this kind of hardware affordable. Because Unitree didn't just make something cheaper, they made something that works. It's agile, balanced, responsive, and honestly kind of scary in how nimble it is for the price. The company's been very clear about the audience, too. This isn't just for robotics labs or car factories. It's not some proof of concept that's gonna collect dust on a conference stage. They're selling it to developers, tech enthusiasts, research teams, and even schools. And yes, regular people can buy one too if they want. You don't need to be a corporation or a university with a million dollar grant. All you need is a solid reason and a spare six grand. And people are already thinking about what they can do with it. Maybe it greets visitors in a hotel lobby, helps out with education in schools, or acts as a lightweight research assistant in universities. Some are thinking bigger, home assistants, elder care support, personal companions, entertainment bots. None of those use cases are fully ready yet, but the potential's obvious. For example, it could help someone grab meds from a high shelf, respond to voice requests, or even just provide company with simple conversation. And when your friends visit, maybe it shows off a backflip just for fun. It's not folding laundry yet, but we're not that far off anymore. The bigger point here isn't just the price or the features, it's the cultural shift that R1 could spark. For decades, humanoid robots were science fiction, reserved for movies, labs, and the occasional stunt demo at a tech expo. Now, one could literally stand next to your router at home. You're not reading about it, you're living with it. That changes things. Because when robots enter daily life, they bring questions with them about safety, etiquette, usefulness, privacy, even companionship. Unitree isn't ignoring that either. They've put out disclaimers reminding people that this thing is powerful, potentially risky, and not a toy. Keep your distance, don't make dangerous modifications, don't treat it like it's indestructible. There's a reason the manual has bold text about using the robot responsibly and understanding its limits. It's still early days, and even though R1 looks friendly, it's got serious hardware under the hood. People need to treat it with the same caution you would any powerful machine. Now, the timing of this release is also pretty strategic. The company just filed tutoring documents with regulators in China, an early step toward going public on the mainland stock exchange. If they stay on track, they might be the first pure play humanoid robotics company to go public in China. That alone adds weight to the R1 launch. This is a serious initiative backed by a much bigger vision. Unitree wants to dominate the entry-level humanoid robot space the same way Xiaomi disrupted the smartphone world years ago. And honestly, the comparison fits. When Xiaomi dropped those ultra-budget phones, it wasn't just about price, it was about access. Suddenly, millions of people could afford tech that was once out of reach. The same thing is happening here. R1 is the first real humanoid robot to break below that psychological $6,000 barrier. It's not a gimmick or a stripped down toy, it's the full package. Real legs, real arms, real AI, real functionality. And sure, it's not perfect. You only get about one hour of runtime per charge. You'll need to manually recharge or swap batteries. It's not babysitting kids or cooking dinner, yet. But what matters is that it's no longer just a lab experiment, it's a product. A real one, ready for use, ready for play, ready for development. And that's why this moment feels like more than just another tech launch. It feels like a threshold. All right, that's it for now. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Drop a like if this was useful. And of course, catch you in the next one.